today we're going to be talking about three of the best wrestlers in the transfer portal right now. We're going to be talking about a whole entire wrestling lineup, a uh, finalist, a champion, a few All-Americans. But yeah, let's go into the video. And then at number three, we're going to start off with Shane Griffith. I mean, he's an NCAA champion, so this might surprise you, but actually not just Shane Griffith, but the whole entire Stanford wrestling lineup. Um, and that is because Stanford wrestling is closing down their program, if you do not know. Now, Shane Griffith, he's a beast wrestler, NCAA champion who's going to be in the transfer portal, just won this year after beating Marinelli and Wenzel in the finals. Um, then you also got Rial Woods, who could have easily been an All-American in both of his years wrestling, but wasn't able to do it because of COVID, and this year he had had a very late start into the season uh, and then you also got Jay Nabis who was an all-american this year uh, has a really good outlook and a lot of potential to get higher up on that podium by the time his career ends so all three of those guys plus a few more guys on the Stanford wrestling lineup are in the transfer portal and they all could make pretty big splashes uh, if they transfer to like big time schools like Penn State Michigan is looking into getting Griffith but the reason we have him he, him here so low um, is because Stanford actually might not have these guys going to transfer portal because uh, apparently it's the athletic department and all that uh, it's gonna meet with the Stanford president see if they can reinstate Stanford wrestling but right now it is 50 50 but because they do have that possibility of not being transferred that's why we got them here at number three instead of two and then at number two it's 125 pounder from America University Gage Curry he's a four-time national qualifier could have easily been a two-time NCAA All-American but uh, in the last two NCAA tournaments one of course was ruined by COVID and the second one uh, just didn't wrestle his best tournament but easily could have placed I would say top six in both of those tournaments um, he has some good wins over Killian Cardinale, Justin Cardani, and Brandon Courtney, who is actually the runner-up this year. So he could potentially make a big splash if he transfers to a big-time school in his fifth season. Uh, I would say the best fit for him would probably be Penn State. Um, Penn State, who we coach under one of the best coaches of all time, Kale Sanderson, would really improve his uh, wrestling almost immediately after transferring from American to Penn State. Of course, it would be a big shift, but I think coaching under Kale Sanderson, training with guys like Roman Bravo Young in the practice room um, and training also with Robert Howard getting him the experience to really help Gage Curry elevate his wrestling performance and he could possibly break the curse that Penn State has had uh, at 125 pounds not having an All-American in so long I think their last one was Nico Megalutis but a guy who's a four-time national qualifier who could have easily placed the last two tournaments um, moving him to Penn State if he transfers there it would be a big boost to their lineup um, in their chance for contention with the Iowa Hawkeyes as well as a good boost for Gage Curry could possibly finish in the top four next season and at number one it's Max Dean of Cornell University uh, he is a stud wrestler uh, transferring out of Cornell I'm not sure if it was due to frustration with the Ivy Leagues because of course how they canceled the whole entire wrestling season last year when it was free eligibility still don't understand why they did that but uh, Max Dean he, brother of Gabe Dean he's an NCAA finalist who really should have been a champion the guy he lost to Drew Foster of UNI um, he had actually beaten him the year before that in the I think it was the Constellation second round um, so he had beat Drew Foster there and then ended up losing to him in the NCAA finals finishing as a runner-up he has a lot of potential uh, he could transfer to maybe Michigan both Shane Griffith and uh, Max Dean are looking into Michigan Michigan's trying to recruit them and if they can get both of those wrestlers, it'll be crazy for the Michigan lineup. It is kind of unlikely, but Max Dean will fit pretty well, uh, especially with talks about how Miles Amin won't come back for Michigan next season. So Max Dean, stud wrestler, uh, could be an NCAA champion next year at probably 197. Um, so definitely would look out for him, see where he transfers to. If he transfers to Michigan, though, and they get Shane Griffith as well, um, Michigan will be right up in the running, especially if they can get Savan Mitrich back. They'll be in the running with Penn State and Iowa for that team title, and it's going to be a crazy team race to watch next season. Yeah, it's going to wrap up our video talking about the three biggest and huge wrestlers who are on the NCAA wrestling transfer portal right now. Uh, Max Dean, like I said, Gage Curry, and then the whole entire Stanford wrestling lineup, including uh, Shane Griffith. So it's going to be interesting to see where these guys go. But let me know if you guys agree with my picks or if I miss someone, leave it down below in the comments. Otherwise, like and comment, subscribe. Peace.